Hello everyone, welcome to Dan Life Be Avril. Hello, you can watch out. Today's now February 17th, and today's nice bright day, guys. Looks like really nice and clear. Probably a little bit warm out there. I don't care for it to be warm. Um yes, I did say it's February 17th. Uh the time right now is 12.05. It's 12.05 and uh, it's not really a late vlog, I guess. It's just pretty normal with you know me gaming at night and then getting some sleep and letting the cat in and out, in and out, in and out kind of thing. So, um, what's new these days, uh, except for, you know, um, just really gaming. Just really gaming and, uh, doing stuff on the internet and tinkering around my phone, doing stuff like that. Uh, I know today's topic is a friend wants me to get into growing Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC. Now he says there's a lot more you can do on the PC and then uh, there's things that run smoothly or some something other and it's like okay I already got it for the Xbox One but before I got it for the 360 and then I, after that I got it for the PS3 and now you want me to get it for the PC and then later for the, X, or the PS4 uh, this is where I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to be doing the Xbox One and 360. Mostly, if you're going to be on PS3, be on PS3. I, I'm not going to do the the PC one. I, I've already been sitting on too much in my office chairs these days. Um, not any really health issues, but there was a time when I used to always sit in my office chair and I would always sit there and there, there day after day because I was in a, my depression. And, and uh, if you sit in too long, your legs get a little puffy. So there was a time where I just sat in there so much that I couldn't even stand on my feet because my feet were so puffy. They were like rounded, like um, they're ballooned, I guess. Not really severely, but enough to say that, hey, you can't walk unless that uh, the blood pressure or whatever it is, it's down. But uh, now that friend wants me to go on PC and I was like, I don't know. There's just like two or three of us that don't care for PC because you already have it for Xbox One and P or PS3 and 360. And it wanted me to get into PS4 later. I wanted a PS4 for the past couple years, but me saving up for that is not happening because I got so many other stuff to you know, save up money for. First thing I'm going to be doing is this month coming up is I'm going to have, I have money saved up for shoes. I'm going to be able to do that for my feet because I'm going to be on bike and be walking around. I'm going to keep myself motiv motivated and after that work on, I think the computer is probably the next major thing too. Uh, the other thing, minor thing is maybe a little bit of tinkering on the laptop to do some stuff on that. Uh, a little bit of fixings on the bike. Camera too. So the most, the most I would have to save for is the computer. That's the main thing camera is working great for right now I'm glad for that that it's still working good I have it stringed to the body I don't know if you guys know that's that in August uh, 18th, 17th, 18th I had a big bike crash somebody decided to hook up this chain because there was a path that leads to the parks and the train tracks and the big gates are usually, usually closed and they're open so I blasted through that good doing about 70 or 80 and the uh, caution sign that somebody hooked up the chain was spray painted because it was spray painted before it was you know, sitting on the side of the grass and stuff but somebody decided to hook it up and I smashed into that thing I busted that chain I had uh, two uh, big bruised line marks I ripped over my left knee uh, neck, back um, legs, arms, everything was sore. Everything was sore for good, well, maybe uh, about a month, month and a half at least. At the most, I mean, at the most. And, uh, you know, I still have that little bit of, like, just, just a little scarring pain. Just a little bit of scarring pain there. And I didn't go to the hospital. I didn't get no stitches. I, like. It's not really that big of a rip. If I stay off my legs, uh, you know, me staying off my legs, not me biking and walking around and stuff, that's unheard of. If I want to go and do something, I'll go do something. But me having my leg wrapped up and having that uh, bandage, like, 
not too tight, but tight enough to have the scar set. And then at night time, have my leg up and you know, completely stretched, stretched out instead of bent. Because I needed the car, the, the car, the um, I was gonna say cartilage too. I gotta have the scar you now seal up, well, the, the cut. Um, there's no, there's no stitch scar because I didn't get stitched. There's no staple star, scars. I mean, I could have maybe needed uh, six to fourteen stitches, maybe, maybe. There's a big enough gash there. I will probably say six stitches. And then underneath that, maybe a stitch or two for the one that's underneath that, the secondary one. But I was in a little bit of pain, you know, because of that. I mean, I was racing from my cousin's house, taking a drive, and then I was blasting there, and I was smashing that chain. That that threw me, slowed me down for about like, 10, 15 minutes. I was on my way to my friend's house to do a movie with him, and I said, you gotta give me a minute, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be putting my bike away down the street, and... I'm going to be back in a, in a minute. I, I just smashed into a chain. And, you know, him there, and he's like, oh, really? And he goes, hey, you look like he's limping. And he was limping back, you know, back to his house. <laughs> I heard him, you know, quietly like that. So I came back, and him and his wife wanted to see it. And the big guy, she goes, oh, you should go to the hospital. You should get that checked out right now. It looks like you need some stitches. And I said, yeah, maybe on top of my head, too. I got a couple of dents on top of my head and kind of bleeding on top of my head. And... I come back with uh, isoprofenol and some uh, small rags, and anyway, and I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I didn't watch the movie. I didn't have a problem with that. I watched the movie and with my leg you now propped up and throwing some uh, isoprofenol on, and they said this that might be infected because it's not fizzing. It's like when it's in it, when it is infected and the isoprofenol gets in, that's when it fizzes. Just pour a little bit, a little bit on there, a little bit on, on the rag and top of my head, and you know, you know, chit chat with him, you know, have my green tea, snacks, you know, everything's fine. And watch a movie and some of that, and then uh, when I get back home, I think it was the movies were like done around 12, 30, 1 o'clock, but I was standing in my room. It was like one thirty, and you know, everything slowed down. You know, everything's everything's good. I'm relaxing. I need. To, I'm gonna be going to bed, and I felt dizzy. I was gonna about to fall on the floor. It's like whoa. It was like, it's like this is not, this was um, uh, what was it like 8:30? So all of the well five hours ago that I did this little bike crash, and then I was starting to go into a little shock at 1:30 in the morning. And I'm like, come on, man. Like I'm I'm stronger than this. So. Next day, you're not not too sore, you know. Got my leg uh, uh, wrapped up nice before you know head to bed. Um, I had, uh, got a leg wrap. Still got the leg wrap now. I didn't want to wreck that, so I didn't really have a big bandage. Um, I did it a little differently. I did like a, like a three or four layer Kleenex, and I made sure you know I had my leg stretched and did the four layer. Uh, four layer uh, um, Kleenex and then taped it to that spot and then did a wrap that way that you know it's not going to go through the Kleenex into the leg wrap so that it would stop right there so thing was good I let that go for like a, a two or three days you know having it wrapped and you know, checking it out and cleaning it and wrapping it and checking it out and cleaning it but by the second day, I was feeling pain, like a lot of pain, because my body did that crash. Because I like smashed into that chain, it pushed me up and it sprung me back. So I smashed when I came to, when I when I smashed into it. Um, that it brought me up, and then I went over the handlebars. And my one my leg then because like, I my legs went smashing into the handlebars first, and then when I went flipping it up. And my legs came down onto the chain. I snapped that chain. That's not really that. I think a chain's kind of rusty too. I'm not saying I'm Superman or anything like that, but that was you know August uh, 18th, 17th, 18th. That's the night of the 17th and then 18th. 
So I was feeling like a lot more pain by three days, four days, five days, and hard to sleep, propping up my leg, making sure, you know, I took care of it. And it's, I learned the first aid like a long time ago, but I learned it beforehand. I learned it as uh, like a little older teenager from my grandma. My grandma used to tell me about a lot of different things about first aid and uh, tourniquet and, uh, you know, shin splint or shin splints or neck arm splints and stuff like that. And, she taught me a lot of those stuff, so I knew that this leg didn't need to be stitched, but the kneecap was messed up for a bit, and me staying off my feet. That I tried, I tried, I tried at least by at least four or five days, and then you know did some daily stuff for a couple of days, and then like a few days and a couple of days of stuff, and then but uh you know. After a few days of being wrapped up, you know, trying to stop the bleeding, like it, was, it wasn't really a lot of blood, I mean, it was enough to hold, you know, the, like six layers of toilet paper, though two ply, so six layers of that, and then doing that for about three to five days, not really, I'm not losing any blood, it's just mostly because I put the ointment on there, and then it was taking, it was, it's, uh, the skin's trying to heal, ointment's helping it heal, and then after, by the third day, I was making sure that, um, I let it, you know, get some air at it. My cat was even sniffing at it too. It was like, she knew there was something up with my leg. So she, she, she would sniff at it and she would lay with me and you know, just being, I, I guess, I guess you, you could say she was kind of not curious. Well, a little curious but maybe she was tad worried because something different about my body that she's not seen before, it smelled. <coughs> Yeah, so that's the uh, story of you know my little bike crash. I said it before, but now I'm giving you a little more details too, and see, you know, let you guys know what what my you know, bike crash was about. And you know, I still have pain from the scar right now, still today. But I'm at the end of this video now, so if you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. And share this video channel my benefit, my benefit me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thanks for viewing this video. Tell me you guys watched it. Hope you all have a nice day, tomorrow night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.